standing on the other side of the bulldozer. He seems to be wearing a digital watch. The vast yellow ships thunder across the sky, spreading va waves of terror and panic in their wake. The voice of the Vogon captain slams across the country, insisting that the planning charts and dem demolition orders, the demolition order orders, have been available at the local planning office in Alpha Centauri for 50 years, and it's too late to start making a fuss about it now. Throughout the noise, Ford is shouting at you. He removes a small black device from a satchel, but accidentally drops it at your feet. Pick up small black device. Fierce, okay, taken. Uh, fierce gales whip across the land and thunder begin, uh, begin, uh, bangs continuously through the air in the wake of the giant ship. Ford fights to reach you, but the wind is too fierce. Further announcements from the Vogon captain make it clear that that demolition will begin in just a few seconds. Through the blinding rain, you see lights flickering on the small device. All right, let's look at. Uh, we'll save this as. Uh, Flickering device. Look at device. The electronic sub ether signaling device is shaped like a small fist with an extended thumb. Various lights along its knuckles are currently blinking widely, widely indicating a spaceship in the vicinity. It has two small buttons a red one labeled Call Engineer, and a green one labeled Hitchhike. It bears a small label which reads, Another fine product of the Sirius Cybernetics Corporation. Affixed to the thumb is a lifetime guarantee. Red one labeled Call Engineer, and green one called labeled Hitchhike. Press green button. Lights whirl sickly around your head. The ground arches away between, beneath your feet and every atom of your being is scrambled. An experience you're probably going to have to get used to. You are in dark. Look. You can hear nothing, smell nothing, taste nothing, see nothing, feel nothing, and you are not even certain who you are. Now, smell. Smell, darkness. You can see nothing, feel nothing, hear nothing, taste nothing, smell nothing, and you are not certainly certain where who you are. You can hear nothing, see nothing, smell nothing. Any, you can't see anything, feel anything, or taste anything, and do not even know where you are or who you are, or how you get there. Look. You can hear nothing, say something, see nothing, feel nothing, and you're not even certain who you are. Smell. Okay, finally. It does smell a bit. There's something pugnant being waved under your nose. Your head begins to clear. You can make out a shadow moving in the dark. It is, of course, well known that careless talk costs lives, but the full scale of the problem is not always appreciated. For instance, the, at the exact moment you said, smelling, look at shadow, a freak wormhole 
opened in the fabric of the space-time continuing and carried your words far, far back in time across almost infinite reaches of space to a distant galaxy where strange and warlike beings were poised on the brink of frightful interstellar battle. The two opposing leaders were meeting for the last time. A dreadful silence fell across the conference table as the commander of the Velahurgs, resplendent in his black jeweled battle shorts, gazed levelly at the Gugvant bleeder squatting opposite him in a cloud of green, sweet-smelling steam. As a million sleek and horribly beweaponed star cruisers poised to unleash electric death at a single word of command, the Villa Herg challenged his vile enemy to take back what it had said about his mother. The creature stirred in its sickly broiling vapor, and at that very moment the words smelling look at shadow drifted across the conference table. Unfortunately, in the Valurg tongue, this was the most dreadful insult imaginable, and there was nothing for it but to wage terrible war for centuries. Eventually, the error was detached, detected, but over 250,000 worlds, their peoples and cultures perished in the Holocaust. You have destroyed most of a small galaxy. Please pick your words with greater care. What do we do now? Look. You can hear nothing, taste nothing, see nothing, feel nothing, and certain who you are. dark so for oh, look you not you can't see, hear nothing look see nothing feel nothing and not even certain who you are look 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 feel darkness there's nothing you can taste nothing you can see nothing you can hear nothing you can feel you don't even know who you are smell it does smell a bit there's something pungent being waved under your nose your head begins to clear you can make out a shadow moving in the dark look at shadow okay finally Vogon hold this is a squalid room filled with grubby mattresses unwashed cups and unidentifiable bits of smelly alien underwear. A door lies to port and an airlock lies to starboard. Along one wall is a tall dispensing machine. In the corner is a glass case with a switch and a keyboard. It looks like the glass case contains an automatic vector plotter. Ford removes the bottle of Centragian mineral water which he has been waving under your nose. He tells you that you're aboard a Vogon spaceship and gives you some peanuts. And we're going to save our game as uh, Vogon Hold. I'm just going to name this file as Vogon Hold. And we will take a little break. We had a really fun time. I really hope I enjoyed this game. And we're going to take a little break and we're going to continue on another day. That was uh, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Infocom Interactive Fiction, a science fiction story, copyright 1984 by Infocom. That was a text adventure game played on Windows Fraught. So if you enjoyed my playing of this game and narrating it for your enjoyment, would you be so kind as to leave a comment on my uh, anchor.fm uh, podcast uh, website account, as well as you can uh, go to my YouTube channel. This this uh, audio will be edited and uploaded on my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube. Would you be so kind as leave your comments if you want to uh, hear more of this adventure? Again, in, in, every Tuesday is Text Adventure Tuesday. So let me know 
in the comments below if you want uh, more of this adventure to continue. Would you be so kind as to like it, favorite, share with your friends on social media? Also subscribe to Video Gamers Oasis and click the notification bell to be notified of future videos. You can also uh, follow me on my anchor.fm account as well as my uh, Twitter account, video underscore tweets, and Facebook accounts, Video Gamers Oasis. That's all the time we have. Thanks for tuning in to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast. This was a special episode of Text Adventure Tuesday. I think I would like to play this game again in the future. It's actually much more enjoyable than the last Text Adventure I played. I like, uh, I like this. Not only is this a classic uh, story, but I really like the um, the sense of adventure in a in a strange strange worlds interstellar worlds and the uh, tongue in cheek humor. So I'm really having a good time with this. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes of Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast in the future. As inspiration comes, I will let you know of new ideas I have. Thanks for watching and uh, and listening. And have an awesome 2021. Till next time. Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcasts would like to thank this episode's sponsor. Mogo Crypto. Mogo's got the triple threat. Free dollars to buy Bitcoin. Free ID fraud protection, and the free Mogo card that helps you save money and fight climate change. Took me two minutes to sign up. Check it out. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash BIT dot LY forward slash Two capital K lowercase L capital B lowercase L lowercase R cap capital O. Click that link and you can sign up on the web page that cons coincides with that link. Video Gamers Oasis Website YouTube Channel